I regret 98% of these tattoos, 97%, almost all of them. I don't like, I mean, I hate them all. I don't know where to start. Understanding that I need to bear my own cross, I need to carry my own cross. Some people are born into circumstances that set them up for success, while others face obstacles that make stability difficult. Jelly Roll grew up in Antioch, Tennessee, a rural area near Nashville where opportunities were scarce. His upbringing was devoid of many privileges that others might take for granted, leaving him with limited options as a youngster. Despite these challenges, Jelly Roll emerged as a powerful voice in music, using his experiences to connect deeply with his audience. His journey from a troubled youth to a celebrated artist is nothing short of amazing. Join us as we tell you what really happened to Jelly Roll. Tell them a little bit about this journey you've had. Talent will get you really far, but if you don't got a horseshoe somewhere hidden in you, you you're going to be in a little trouble. <laughs> and, uh... Jason Bradley DeFord, known by his nickname Jelly Roll, was born on the 4th of December 1984 in Tennessee. His mother started calling him Jelly Roll during his childhood, a name that stuck with him throughout his life. He said even today, if someone calls him Jason, he doesn't even look up. Recalling his early years, Jelly Roll described his neighborhood as a mix of middle and lower class, though he never felt impoverished because his basic needs were met. His father worked multiple jobs, including selling meat and running a bookie business. Even if he didn't feel poor, Jelly Roll was not surrounded by wealth. He noted that he rarely knew anyone with a stable job, as most people around him were involved in various hustles. Substance use was rampant in his community, and Jelly Roll himself eventually began using and selling illicit things. This lifestyle wasn't highly profitable, but it provided him with some money, which was more than many around him has. Unfortunately, substance use was widespread in his community, and Jelly thought it was a regular lifestyle. It wasn't until his 20s that he realized having a family member who was an addict it was not a common experience. Growing up surrounded by people scraping to get by, often through illegal means, Jelly Roll also felt that crime was his only path to survival. When the singer was 13, his parents divorced. His mother, who was struggling with mental health issues and substance use, became his responsibility. He chose to stay with her rather than move in with his father, feeling a need to take care of her. This decision had both emotional and financial consequences, pushing Jelly Roll toward crime to support them. This necessity led him into a life of crime. His first arrest at the age of 14 marked the beginning of a decade-long entanglement with the judicial system. In and out of juvenile detention, Jelly Roll missed most of his high school education and felt isolated and disadvantaged. He later faced adult charges for crimes committed as a juvenile and received an eight-year federal prison sentence, although he served less than two years. Despite his release, he found himself repeatedly returning to jail, feeling more familiar and comfortable behind bars than in the outside world. Jelly Roll's experiences with the criminal justice system created a recurring cycle that he struggled to break. He eventually realized that his musical talents, nurtured by his mother's love for music despite her challenges, could provide an escape from his troubled past. Music became an outlet and a way to connect with others, helping him to redefine his path and strive for a better future. In 2008, while incarcerated once again, Jelly Roll's life took a pivotal turn when he learned that he'd become a father. This moment brought a profound realization and a commitment to change his life. Determined to break the cycle of incarceration that had dominated his past, he focused on self-improvement, starting with earning his GED while still in prison. Upon his release at age 25, he met his daughter, Bailey Ann DeFord, and took on the responsibility of being a father, which became a central and transformative aspect of his life. The responsibilities of fatherhood, coupled with his desire for a better life, motivated Jelly Roll to overcome his personal issues. He'd grown up surrounded by illicit substances and got involved in it himself. Determined to be a better father and to preserve his own life, he made the difficult decision to quit using everything. This journey of self-improvement involved eliminating his reliance on various substances and learning to value and love himself. As an adult, Jelly Roll has faced his own battles with severe depression, characterized by periods of high productivity followed by stretches of deep withdrawal. After getting clinically diagnosed, he used his platform to candidly share his mental health journey, hoping to offer support and solidarity to others facing similar challenges. Jelly Roll's music is deeply infused with the pain and struggles he's experienced. His breakthrough song Save Me emerged from a particularly dark period in his life and acted as a form of public therapy. This track, and others like it, allowed him to channel his emotions and connect with listeners on a profound level. He believes that his willingness to openly discuss difficult topics and transform his personal darkness into art has given him a unique voice in the music industry.
Although Save Me was the song that propelled Jelly Roll into the public spotlight and made him a Grammy-nominated artist, his music career had been evolving for years before that. As a matter of fact, he began releasing music in the early 2000s, carving out a niche for himself in the underground rap scene. His early work often reflected the gritty realities of his life, characterized by raw and unfiltered lyrics that spoke to his struggles with crime, substance use, and personal turmoil. One of his first notable projects was the 2010 mixtape Gambling on a White Boy, which earned him a dedicated small following. Collaborations with artists like Lil White and Haystack further solidified his presence in the southern rap scene. His partnership with Lil White led to the 2011 album Year Round, which was well received and helped Jelly Roll gain more exposure. Despite the initial success, it wasn't until the release of the Big Sal story in 2012 that Jelly Roll began to attract broader attention. The album featured songs that delved deeper into his personal experiences, resonating with a wider audience. Over the next few years, he continued to release a steady stream of mixtapes and albums like WW and WH. While he was releasing music as a rapper, something felt to miss in his life. All the personal struggles he had bottled up inside of him wanted to be released in a creative way. That's when Jelly Roll decided to switch up his genre and decided to become a country singer who sings to give people hope. The release of Save Me in 2020 marked a turning point in Jelly Roll's career. The song's raw emotion and candid exploration of his struggles with mental health struck a chord with listeners, leading to widespread acclaim and a significant increase in his popularity. Following the success of Save Me, Jelly Roll continued to build on his momentum with a series of impactful releases. His next album, Self Medicated, featured a mix of introspective tracks and anthems of resilience, further showcasing his versatility as an artist. In 2021, he released Ballads of the Broken, which delved even deeper into themes of redemption and personal growth. His ability to openly share his emotions, both good and bad, is a significant aspect of his relatability. This transparency is evident not only in his music, but also in his interaction with others. Despite not crying until he was 34, Jelly Roll has since become known for his emotional expressions, shedding tears in interviews, on stage, and even while coaching on American Idol in 2024. His candid discussions of grief are particularly impactful. Growing up in an environment where premature death was common, Jelly Roll has experienced significant loss. He's openly mourned the deaths of many friends and even a young man he considered a nephew. The death of his father in 2019 had a profound effect on him, marking one of the most challenging experiences of his life. Jelly Roll also deals with complicated feelings of survivor's guilt. Many of his friends have succumbed to their circumstances, while others continue to struggle. This has created a conflict for Jelly Roll, who feels remorse for escaping the lifestyle he was born into. After having his life turn around for the best, Jelly Roll wants to help others, especially those who are stuck in the same situation as he once was. Driven by these experiences, Jelly Roll has dedicated himself to helping at-risk individuals and communities. In 2022, he donated $250,000 to improve conditions for incarcerated and underserved youth in Nashville. He also partnered with Shatterproof, a non-profit focused on substance awareness, to release the song She. His 2023 tour raised $590,000 for at-risk youth, and he's even addressed political parties about this crisis. Through these efforts, Jelly Roll is using his platform to advocate for those in need, transforming his personal pain into meaningful action to support others.